Hi everybody, I hope you guys are doing great. Today I wanted to do a quick update video about my Chia mining setup. A couple of weeks ago I put out a video where I kind of went through my first Chia plotter slash farmer from a hardware perspective. And since then I've upgraded things a little bit. I now have two other machines doing some work in terms of like plotting and slash farming. So in this video, I wanted to show you how many plots I've got so far and uh, basically ask the question and answer the question on whether Chia is actually worth getting into right now from a solo mining perspective or is it better to wait until the pooling protocol uh, comes out. So let's just kind of uh, get into it right away. My first plotter, which is the one that uh, we kind of uh, went through together in that video is this one right here. Uh, so far, um, I've got my Swar Chia kind of manager running always in the background. And this is kind of what lets you automate um, plotting uh, in the background so that you don't have to do it manually through the GUI. Uh, on this machine specifically, we're at 486 uh, plots, 48 terabytes roughly. And my estimated time to win is two months. Now... I've, I've uh, over the last kind of week or so, I've stagnated, which means I'm kind of moving almost at the same pace with the network space, which has exploded in the last couple of weeks. I think when I first did the, the hardware videos at roughly maybe three or four or somewhere around that, and for a while, it was like almost increasing by one exabyte per day. Now it kind of leveled off a little bit and my estimated time to win has uh, reached kind of like a steady state of two months. So this is the first machine. We've got 48 terabytes on it. The second machine, which I deployed to this, is also a dedicated farming slash plotting machine. Um, and so far we've got 117 plots on this one or roughly about 12 terabytes. Um, and same thing, I've got my SWAR uh, plot manager running in the background. And the third one is uh what do we have on the third? 52 plots right here almost five terabytes so we've got 52 plus 117 plus 486 which is roughly around 650 plots right now you know look we're looking at 65 terabyte which is a lot of hardware and i've won zero chia so far and I knew when I, when I was getting into this that, you know, this is kind of to be expected. I shouldn't make promises to myself that I'm going to win some Chia. But it is a little bit discouraging, to be honest, that now we've, we've in the, we're have we've in this journey. I'm a month into it. And considering that we, you know, we do GPU mining and we're part of a pool and we get little payouts every single day. $5, $10, $50, $100, whatever that is, depending on how many GPUs uh, you have. This is a bit of a different experience. Now, for me, you know, I've been a little bit discouraged. I'm, I'm kind of continuing to plot and I will continue to do so, but I've got an upper limit. I bought all of these drives right here. I don't know if you can see them. They're eight terabyte each. There's 10 of them. And I've got a couple of six terabyte that is already uh, in the uh, farmers. We're looking roughly right now at 105 uh, terabytes for me, roughly around 100 terabytes. So I'm approaching my limit. I'm at 65 right now, which means I probably have maybe three weeks of, of this to go. And then beyond that, I will start losing to the growth of the network space. Now, the good news is that the pooling protocol is supposed to come out in the next couple of days. The initial promise was end of May, and then they pushed it, actually 17th of May, and then they pushed it until the end of the month. And now it's been pushed again until the 2nd of June, which is tomorrow. So uh, fingers crossed that that comes out and then they push it to the pool hosts and the pool providers. And then those take a couple of days to kind of uh, play around with it and, and, and set it up. And then after that, we would we would get it. Um, so until then, I'm going to continue to solo mine. Now, if you're getting into this right now, do I think it is worth it? Absolutely not. If you're going to solo mine and you're just starting off with this, I personally don't think it's worth it. The chances of you winning are extremely, extremely low. It's pretty much a lottery system. Uh, does that mean that it is impossible for you to win? No. I mean, statistically, there is a chance. There is a it's very slim probability that you would win. And I have one friend of mine who won at almost four terabyte. So that, that person almost made their money back. What are we at right now in terms of like Chia price? Uh, last I checked was 677. I mean, at this point, at one point, this was like 
1600 bucks or something like that if you won anything and you sold over here you you would have made your money back very very quickly depending on how much you invested you can still make your money back over here but you know like this thing is getting a, a little bit hard to be convincing for you to solo mine so my personal suggestion wait until the pooling protocol comes out um and if we see it in the next couple of days and that's quite promising once that happens get on it right away even if you're making a couple of cents per day uh that's okay i wanted to kind of look at this you know some of my some of my uh, my plots are passing the filters but we're not hitting any any cheers now I, I could i could hit one tomorrow i could hit one right after recording this video like nobody knows it's pretty much a lottery uh video at this point so take that you know keep that in consideration if you're planning to look into this or if you're planning to get into this and you've been watching a lot of videos the initial hype uh was quite high and it died down significantly even though that the network space hasn't died down at all but the hype kind of like online is dying down a little bit which isn't a bad thing because we need to kind of set clear expectations for anybody who's getting into this including myself uh, as well the last point that i want to cover is that um the good thing about farming chia and plotting chia is that it is a pretty much a cpu intensive cpu intense cpu ram and and hard disk intensive process which means you could gpu mine on the same machine so if you notice over here i've got my swarp plot manager running in the background and i've got my 3080 also doing some work um, and on another machine which is one of my 3060 pcs uh, i'm plotting slash farming and at the same time i'm mining ethereum with two 3060s in that machine look at this this is crazy 78 degrees c i gotta do something about this this is quite hot so anyway all that to say is that you can pretty much plot farm and mine whatever coin you want to mine ethereum or anything else on the same machine so you can maximize your hardware um uh, your hardware so that you, you're not losing pretty much on on hardware capacity that you you might have i'm going to end the video right here i think i've covered everything that i wanted to cover at at this point um as always i appreciate every single one of you who watch these videos and who comment and engage with me and i hope that you find these useful and valuable if you have any questions put it down in the comments and i'll i'll try my best to answer all of the comments in, in a timely manner um let me know what you think about you know chia in general if if you're plotting or farming tell me where you're at are you at a 50 100 500 have you won anything i think hearing from the community and knowing kind of what's going on uh in terms of other fellow farmers uh it would really help everybody who's going to watch this video and would help me as well um so i would appreciate it if you uh, put that in the comment okay no more rambling on have a great day thank you very much for watching the video take care of yourself and i will see you on the next one Bye-bye.